Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Outriders video. In this video, we're going to review the Molten Idola. I hope I pronounced that correctly. If I did not, I do apologize. I am from Ukraine, so sometimes I do mispronounce stuff. And it's a legendary rifle. So we're going to take a look at the original mods, uh, take a look at it visually, and uh, play around with the mods, see what we can do with it. What magic. So let's not waste any time and jump right into it. Alright, so let's first take a look on the weapon visually. And visually, it looks great as all other legendary weapons. They're kind of like all unique and uh, have their. I'm just amazed. I absolutely love it. I love the fire. I love the skeletons. I love that skeleton over there. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, let's take a look how the weapon's going to look on the character. So you can see it right here, but we're going to exit this menu and watch it through this moment right here. So it looks just beautiful and on your back as well all right now let's talk about the mods the mods are fixed basically what I mean by that is when you loot this weapon you will get uh, the same mods so it's uh, Ravanos Locust if I, I hope I pronounced that correctly once again uh, creates a short swarm of Locust dealing 258k damage over 10 seconds and inflicting weakness to enemies remaining within six meter radius of the target so that is actually pretty cool uh, you see with my build I'm currently using moaning winds on both shotguns and my main weapons are the pistols if you haven't seen my video go ahead and take a look it's actually pretty dope and I've actually made it even better so I'm uh, planning to make version 3 soon uh, but basically what this does is it I need a, a range weapon that can deal a lot of damage with my debuffs I can increase this damage I want to see by how much so basically like with my moaning winds one shotgun can do 1.3 million and the other shotgun can do 1.5 million so just with one blast but and the cooldown is eight seconds like with this uh, mod as well so basically weakness is also pretty good because if you hit the big target with weakness uh, basically uh, that target would will do 30% um, less damage towards you for X amount of time we're gonna take a look I think it's just like around six seconds or something uh, vortex chamber uh, reloading uh, weapon inflicts slow on enemies previously wounded by this weapon without changing it well and with this weapon we only have one bullet per clip so basically whenever you shoot you shoot once and that's it you if you didn't miss obviously you've applied that uh, overtime damage and you also slow applied this uh, so the enemy moves slower right so it has crit damage healing receive long range damage as the attributes and pretty decent amount of damage 29k just crazy man <laughs> I don't know I'm not a firepower build so we're gonna see how much and the crit damage 200 percent ooh that's actually really really interesting I have I have I have another plan that I want to test with this weapon man but anyway uh, first things first we're gonna test the mod so the way I'm gonna do the test is first I'm gonna apply this mod on another weapon uh, so we can see how much damage per second it deals then on this weapon I'm gonna apply the f uh, the fortress which increases the damage and we'll see how much it will deal and then we'll do all of my other debuffs that I have uh, with my build and test them and see how much damage essentially we're doing and then I have another thing in mind if uh, this video will not turn out to be super long uh, we will also test that thing out so stay put and let's I'll do the modding and we'll go find ourselves some test subjects alright so let me quickly walk you through my build like the main mods uh, so basically I do have the ability to apply vulnerable and now I also have the ability to apply weakness so vulnerable increases the damage received by 25 percent for 10 seconds meaning if the target has this specific uh, status effect that target receives 25 percent additional damage from all sources I have tested it out and it works firepower anomaly power skills and so on and weakness decreases the damage dealt by 30% for 6 seconds. Okay, so I was right. So basically, that target that has weakness on it, it will deal 30% less damage towards you. So that's actually also pretty cool. 
Alright, so the mods and the, the, we're in right now in my favorite expedition as we have one big target that we can play around with and then an elite monster so we can see uh, everything in action. So the idea, as I said, we're going to first shoot with this gun. Uh, we'll not mind the ultimate storm whip damage, but we'll take a look at the damage per second of uh, that, uh, the Ravanus lo Locust mod. And then we're going to shoot with... Uh, this weapon, uh, which has fortress and C, was a difference in damage. I will not be applying bleed damage, I mean bleed status effect vulnerable for start, uh, so it's easier to, uh, to identify what's going on. So with my current armor, I get uh, 20k anomaly for s for seven s uh, for six seconds uh, if I initiate a critical shot. So actually, this rifle could be a really handy. I might going to even replace one of my shotguns. Uh, then we've got uh, Endless Mats, which inflicts vulnerable on all of the enemies pulled by the skill. So th that will help me to do more damage. Uh, this one will also increase my th uh, the anomaly damage for 33%, which is also really nice. Uh, with Bleed, if they're under Bleed, I do additional 25% uh, damage from all sources, including the Captain Harton, uh, Hunter on the elites that's the skull icon when you see on your map that's the elite and that gives additional 25% also from all sources skills firepower anomaly power then we've got uh, the gloves and the gloves that inflict bleed and additional okay, th those don't really uh, boost but all of my gear the I mean almost all I'm trying to find the correct boots for that I need the seismic helmet uh, most of them have, all of them have status power, uh, and everything else is anomaly power, anomaly power. So there we go, here we go, let's go. Alright, and by the way, the endless mass also applies bleed, <laughs> not just the earthquake. Alright, so we're going to have a test subject right here. Let's shoot him and see how much damage we deal. I would say maybe around 25k per second. 12? That's per millisecond, right? Okay, what about... 17, there you go. I'm 5k better. Mm-hmm. Get out of here, man. Look at that, 26. Ah, that's my bleed, by the way. <laughs> that's my bleed damage. I didn't even apply this uh, this other skill. Okay, uh, let's do the test with the elite. Elite is, is going to be better. Hey, cockroach. Look at that crazy damage. Look, he's just melting. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. And 31k damage with firepower. Wow, I'm surprised. 16. Oh, that finished them off. Whoops. Okay, anyway, we're gonna have the elite right now. So we're gonna play around with him. Hope he doesn't die quick. <laughs> Let's finish these guys first. Oops. Without damaging the elite guy. Whoops, come on man. I don't want to kill you. Alright, so he is taking some hits and that's from my bleed. Okay, and by the way, my golem also increases my anomaly power. Boom. 12.7k. I assume it's like half a second. 18. That's my bleed. 30, 34 you can say. Plus 
apply a debuff. Additional bleed, boom. 62 plus my bleed. That's 30. Shh. That's 100k per second. <laughs> but wait, isn't this other debuff supposed to last for 10 seconds? Well, he died. Let's restart there. Alright, so I just uh, restarted my game in the same expedition. By the way, you might have not known this, but if you fail, for example, the expedition or you restart, uh, make sure to look for a chest and you will receive some loot. Uh, the rewards are based on how far you progress in the expedition. So, like, for example, if you died on the final boss, you should get a lot of uh, loot over here. So I just discovered this, like, yesterday. <laughs> Alright, so I actually rewatched the previous clip and uh, I was doing 12 per half a second so it's not second so it was 24 K damage per second so it was all it was I was right so it was around 25 cool all right so that is actually pretty dual pretty cool let's apply bleed and vulnerable and shoot him with this gun and see how much damage we're dealing so bleed is there So I would assume that 40 is our skill. It's not bleed, right? Wait, hold on. Let bleed end. Yeah. 40 was our skill that we did. Because if this is this does 23 damage, damn man, this is it's actually pretty nice. Let me deal with these guys real fast and we'll do the final test with the big one and that's it. Oh, I didn't see doing a lot of crits with this one. So get out of here. Yeah, 38. Get out of here. Man, it's so hard to identify the damage. 77? What the hell? <laughs> For millisecond, man. That's crazy. So y you can, like, take this gun out, shoot the elite, and, uh. Oh, yeah, I didn't even apply my golem. Alright, so there he is. He's taking bleed damage right now for almost 20k. And okay, now we're applying bleed. Ah, oh, damn it. He's got this resistance thing. So with bleed damage, boom. Yeah, 30, 40. Come on. Damn, way too many numbers. But he's just like dying, I'm not even doing anything. 50. Come on, vulnerable, let's go. I'm not going to be able to put the vulnerable. But yeah, that's a lot of freaking damage. So I, my idea is, plays a debuff. Since this weapon doesn't have a lot of ammo, you just shoot the big guy, switch to whatever other weapon you got. While he's taking damage, you just blast everything else, right? Check this out. One million. 
<laughs> Lol. Love a million. Yeah, so that was uh, Moaning Winds. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, it's a good thing because they only got one bullet. Yeah, because usually I'm unloaded all the time and shooting one bullet and initiating a reload it shouldn't be a big deal plus if you hit the target you also inflict uh, more damage and then I just switch to my pistols and that extra damage will start benefiting from fortress and plus the these death chains is good uh, the only thing is just need to get used to it <laughs> but I'll see if I'll be using it well moaning winds is another good thing for this weapon uh, with firepower I don't know, I would put something else most probably, uh, but I haven't done any firepower builds, only anomaly. But anyway, still much to think about. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. So if you got something to say, feel free to comment. Positive, negative, just don't swear. Simple as that. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So I have from Ukraine. Once again, thanks all for watching. Y'all have a good Monday and night. Whatever you guys like it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. From the ashes we rose into